have been selected to write a book with the two greatest minds of our time, Dr. Deepak Chopra and Dr. Ken Blanchard, is a real indication of the stature that Noser has within the economic and the entrepreneurial community. Both his books are really thought-provoking. He's write, written about a time that the world can really use his wisdom. The world's economy now is in such a state that without entrepreneurism to help it recover, I doubt it would. It's been very important that he, the subject matter he's writing about, uh, and he does it so well. I'm glad that Nozier Bouchier attended our uh, publishing workshop. He was chosen from a select group of authors, including Deepak Chopra and Ken Blanchard, uh, to participate in our book project. His chapter, titled Believe in Yourself, is the glue that held it all together and closed it all out in the end. He certainly is a great writer. responsibility on their shoulders. Treat them as co-pilots of a plane rather than passengers in a train. Whatever you get, play your cards with the hand that you have. If you don't have what you like, you have to like what you have. It's a genuine pleasure to listen to him speak. He mesmerizes his audiences. He speaks with humor, but he gets across solid points. And then, most of all, he's lived what he's talking about. So when he tells you it's something he really knows, he's not talking about theory. He's talking about how entrepreneurship really works. The title, Mr. Motivator, truly applies to Nozer. I believe that this book signifies him because it's about inspiring others. And this is his um, goal that he set out for his, for his life is not only to be inspired, but to also and see the, the light of flame under other people and to inspire them and make them want to do things that they never dreamed possible that they can achieve. After spending so much time with him, when you're around him, the energy that he has, you have no choice but to follow in his path. It's rare to find leaders quality of Noser. You know, he's a born entrepreneur. He thinks it all the time, he plans all the time, he does the things that real entrepreneurs do. And that's all I want to do is leave my legacy and I appreciate Noser for really helping me become that businessman and become that inspirational man that I know I can be in my future. He taught me how to strategize and plan Pegasus Visa's roadmap for success execute its strategy, and even negotiate something I never would have been able to do without his guidance. I'm so grateful to have worked with Noser around my business leadership and money consciousness. I had no idea I was limiting myself as a leader by failing to see the natural ability of leaders to promote and sell ideas. Just one phone call, one exercise with Noser changed my entire life. I've learned a lot from his wisdom, knowledge and contagious energy. Also his ability to motivate people has helped me personally in developing the right mindset and professional management skills in order to grow my own business. I'm also in touch with publishers to have his book Why Entrepreneurs Really Fail translated into the Hebrew language. Entrepreneurship is not only about growing companies, it's also about growing people and allowing them to succeed at their own pace and time. This is exactly what Nozer does in his own special and professional way. When I 
I'm in the business world and I need to be motivated, I'm thankful to have someone like Nozer in my corner that can teach me where I can be a leader and where I can help allow my mind to grow. The thing I like about Nozer is how he takes a genuine interest in helping others succeed. He is not afraid to share his knowledge and even helps you connect with the right people. I can honestly say Pegasus Visas would never have gotten off the ground the way it did had it not been for Nozer. He has lectured the students, he's come out and participated in our programs, and he's given a great quality of that he possesses back to our students. We're forever grateful to Nozer, and it's been an honor and pleasure to know him over the years. He brings so many different um, things to the table. He's such an inspiring man. His wisdom you know, precedes him. He spends time trying to teach me, you know, just the things about life and how to grow and how to be a better man and how to be a, and how to take care of my money and how to be a better businessman. And so he's coached me on a book I'm trying to write myself called Nine Cliches to Live By. And he's given me wisdom and things that he feels that I can benefit from and teachings that will help me when I write this book and bring it to fruition. When he talks, you're compelled to listen for each time it's something different or it's something new. And what I love most about him is that he's not afraid to talk about his own mistakes or his own failures, just so that you may not make those same mistakes. To do something like that, I think it really takes guts, takes courage, and above all, it's the humility that he possesses. The hurt that Nozer does in the prison, it just can only be explained as selfless service. You know, Nozer gives of himself uh, almost once a week. He comes out and visits with the men, encourages the men. Uh, he looks at their business plans and he gives his guys great advice. I, I just like the way Mr. Nozer came to us in layman's terms and he didn't try to talk over our heads or, you know, he, he kind of talked to us on our level. I mean, for us to contact him upon our release. And that, that meant a lot to me, that, that, that hit home with me. To have somebody to guide me, a coach, somebody to be there for me. Not only did he uh, articulate verbally what he, what he tried to get across to us, but he also gave us the visuals and he demonstrated things right. so that they were just, you know, they were, they were so awesome and profound, we could see them. You know what I learned, uh, he was real adamant about being, uh, saying that we're not defined by our past. founder and chairman emeritus of the Wolf Center for Entrepreneurship at our college, University of Houston. He's been really helpful to us. Nozer has not only supported my business, but has stood by me and my family in the most difficult and the trying times of my life, for which I thank him from the bottom of my heart. The value of your work cannot be repaid. I'm so grateful and I look forward to our continuing coaching relationship as I take my business to the next level. I'm grateful to be able to call him a friend. He's helped me and guided me whenever I felt lost in life. And for that, I stay eternally grateful to him. Who well, I believe have my be has my best interest at heart. And I'm thankful for that and I'm appreciative of that. And you know, you don't, you don't get that too many times in life. And so when you get it, you better hold on to it. And I'm just thankful for those in my life and the things that he's doing and the things he's doing for other men and women you know, around the world. International speaker, businessman, life coach, what more can you say? Noja Bushia. Bushia is a man after God's own heart. And for that, I salute him.